Thanks, Craig. I'm joined now with Yvette Sturbank from the Corning Museum of Glass. How are you doing this morning? Good. Thanks for having me this morning. Thanks for coming in. So, now I thought this was pretty amazing. It's Pyrex's 100th birthday. I had no idea it had been around that long. That's right. 1915. It was invented right here in the Twin Tiers in yeah. Corning, New York. Very cool. And so you're celebrating in a big way over at the museum. Tell us about the upcoming exhibit that you have going on. Sure. Um, opening next uh, Saturday, we have Pyrex... Um, uh, on view and we have uh, about 150 patterns, different dishes on view. But we also have an interesting angle on Pyrex. So we have the Reykjavik Research Library, which is yeah. an amazing resource for glass. And so we have all of the, like the ads and um, uh, receipts and trade catalogs from the past 100 years. And so those will be part cool. of the display as well. Some more artifacts also, you know, not just the, the dishes and the measuring cups and right. the bowls and stuff themselves. Right. Very yeah, cool. so we tell the story of Pyrex and how it changed over time, and really it's a great story of how women's roles have changed over time, and you can nice. look at the different advertisements, the different dishes. Um, there are great dishes that reflect, for instance, in the 60s and 70s, sort of the look and feel of the 60s and 70s, um, and when you get into the 80s, the idea of microwaves coming into the kitchen, yeah. and so Pyrex changes at that point. So it's really interesting to see sort of the social history of the United States. Yeah, over the last hundred years. And I, what I didn't realize either was that it didn't necessarily start as dishware. That's right. Actually, Pyrex, it's a really great story. So Pyrex started as a battery jar. So there was a, a, a scientist at Corning, Jesse Littleton, and his wife wanted to try the battery jar, had him saw off the battery jar, and tried to bake a cake in it. And uh, in the end, it worked very well, and Pyrex became an amazing uh, product that we all have in our homes today. Yeah, I'm sure a lot more products than you would think. You know, we have some bowls showing up on the screen now. The um, the measuring cups, the, the glass is very, very specific. Everybody right. has one of those. Right, that's right. And now also you have some big news about the measuring cups. We do, yeah. Actually, we're looking forward on June 20th. Uh, World Kitchen, who, who makes Pyrex these days, um, actually has a the world's largest Pyrex measuring cup traveling the country. And so Corning, wow. the Corning Museum of Glass will actually be a stop on June 20th and it will be open to the public. Oh, so more news to cool. come about that. Cool, very yeah. cool. And so now remind people, when does this exhibit start? Um, and you know, when can people come visit? Sure, it opens next Saturday, June 6, and it's at the Ray Cal Research Library, and it's included in the price of your museum admission. Great, and it's going on for quite a while too. Yeah, it's actually on through next March, and um, come see the exhibit. There's also a website that we've created, it's pyrex.cmog.org. Um, lots of great recipes and information and history and just, you know, interaction. Very cool, yeah. well, thank you so much for coming in this yeah, morning, I appreciate it. Sure.